next stage, a man looking for trouble. What can you see beyond the darkness? When you look beyond the darkness, tell me what do you see? It's your boy T I N Y to the P. Yeah, he's looking for trouble here on Twitch.tv with Crash or Jade or Spyro or Leon Kennedy. Is there a new game to start? Is he doing some art? Maybe knowledge of an 80s children's show to impart? Cause he's mentiferous, vigorous, rigorous. He's damn vociferous and arting or Mario Karting. He's very carnivorous. Tiny Peter. Tiny Peter. With a great rate of safe states abating his fate, Peter's greeted by emotes of cheaters when people donate. Give him a yeah. or a whoop, and we'll build up the hype and I'll struggle to read half the words that you type. So are you ready to go? Come on, what will it be? Are we gaming or painting or watching dated kids TV? Grab a bite, crack a slight, dim the light, sit tight, cause the stream's about to start and the mics sound right, boy. Tiny Peter. Tiny Peter. Check the mic and make sure it sounds like boy. Boy. Hello everyone, welcome to the live stream. Uh, how's it going? You all right? Everyone. Oh Jesus, I can hear myself but I'm playing the stream back on the, on Twitch. Hello, how you doing? Are you alright? You good? I'm good. We're going to be playing Beyond Good and Evil today and we're going to be finishing off and I'm very excited. And we might even run over, so you might get some bonus stream time, Bew Whip. We might even get a three hour stream, who's to say? Um, because I will be finishing the game today to 106%, possibly, if we're lucky. Oh yeah. oh yeah, here we go. Tiny Peter Rost in stream time. Hello TP. Hello. How are you? How was your weekend? Loved the newest episode of Worst Games Ever. Hope you are having a lovely day. Uh, 106%, and possibly, if we're lucky, to 106%. 7% or whatever you want to call it because we're going for the super special secret easter egg that probably very few people in the world have even done because um, not many people know about it but we all know about it and we're trying for it and we've only got like one more thing to do I think and then it should just it'll either work or it won't because there is nothing to tell you as you go along whether or not you're doing the right things so fingers crossed I suppose uh, hello and welcome and thank you to uh, Bartleby01, who subscribed via Prime for 10 months. Thank you, Bartleby01. Thank you to Stephen for 100 bits. Oh, yeah, here we go. Um, I had a very good weekend. Thank you, Stephen. Um, spent most of it just kind of recuperating from a very, very, very busy week. Uh, we had... Um, we did the tat unboxing on Wednesday. It was going to be on Tuesday, but we moved it to Wednesday. That was a 10 a.m. to 7 p.m sitting at the desk basically in front of the camera we had a little lunch break in the middle um, but you know we all got to work for nine o'clock got ready hit record at about ten o'clock and we were there until maybe half six at the desk other than the lunch break that I mentioned and then we were tidying up and crushing boxes and sorting tat into piles uh, and we are very very lucky boys and girl to have received such lovely things from you I have put a couple of things on my shelf uh, behind me. So spoilers, I think most of it uh, isn't visible. Uh, there's something on top of the shelf, which uh, you, you'll probably never see um, in terms of my backdrop. I mean, it's there and you'll see it on the tap heel. 
uh, and I've got something on the shelf. Just it's just there, but you can't see it because of the chair. There is one thing visible on screen. Um, I'm not going to point it out, but it's there, and it's great. Um, but we received all sorts of lovely things, some of which are on my shelf, some of which are going to be on the office shelf in the new year when we uh, once we've actually put the, the tap video out. Um, and uh, it's all it's all very exciting. So yeah, we had we had the tap appeal, and then on Thursday night into Friday morning, well, it started Friday morning. Uh, we had the flipping the game awards, which went on for a lot longer than we thought, um, like 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. or something UK time. I don't really remember. We got to the office at 12 o'clock um, midnight, and then on Friday night, extracurricular in terms of triple jump it was it's triple jump adjacent uh we had well it's not even adjacent it's a separate entity we had uh, a charity stream on vidiots um which went sort of fairly late into the evening it went till midnight or something so bit of a tired boy bit of a tired boy but i'm uh we're so lucky to have such a wonderful community or two wonderful communities with an awful lot of crossover um over at vidiots so thank you to everyone who has sent money uh money <laughs> some people did say send money sent stuff to the tat appeal um, sent donations slash money to charity streams on other platforms uh, and everyone who turned up to the, the Game Awards uh, as well, uh, the, the live stream there because that was a lovely time and you guys got us through it, so there we go um, yeah spoilers, I know, sorry everyone uh, for the stuff in the background. Thank you to Steven Skodos for subscribing as well for 54 months on a 51 month streak. It's a resub from a Tiny Peter Austin stream. 54 months. Shout out to this lovely channel and community for being my most watched Twitch channel for 2023. The best channel for the number one spot. Here's to another year of amazing fun streams. Lots of love. Thank you, Stephen. And thank you too. Barley89 for subbing via Prime for 51 months, currently on a 30 month streak. Wasn't able to send anything for tap, but I can give you my continued Bezos bucks. Enjoy and keep up the great content. Hey, Bali, that's great. Thank you so much for that. You know, some people can't uh, send tap or donate or give bits or anything. But if you happen to have a Prime mm -hmm. subscription, then by using your um, your Twitch Prime, which just comes with the package you're already paying for, we, as far as I'm aware, get five dollars effectively in the same way that we would do if you were subscribing normally. It won't cost you anything extra. Jeff Bezos seems to be the only one who's suffering for that, uh, if that's how it works. I don't know. It, someone's missing out on $5, and it's not you or me, so uh, that's great. Um, Streamlabs is dead? Oh no! Oh, we were messing... Hmm. Okay, that is odd, isn't it? I'm looking in the chat. None of the mod commands are working. Let me see what is going on there. How strange. We had issues with that on Vidiots the other day, so I don't know if it's just Streamlabs being a bit broken recently, but you'd think if they were having issues on Friday that it would have uh, been fixed by now. Commands. I mean, they're enabled on the back end. I don't know if I have to do a, some sort of master switch to also re-enable it. Oh, maybe... Uh, maybe Streamlabs itself is not allowed to speak. Yeah. It's muted. Um... So, uh, let me just, I'll carry on for now. Uh, thank you to Steven Skodes for gifting a sub to Drew, who gave 1,000, he's given 1,017 subs now. Thank you, Steven. Um, and 100 bits from Dr. Goblin. A possible three hour stream from TP. Is it Christmas already? Glad to hear you all well. And I'm glad to see Dick and Dom. Uh, why wasn't that read out? Don't bits normally get read out? I'm a bit confused. Um, Anyway, um, it said yeah, and then it's not Reddit. Maybe there's a swear in there. Fudge bucket. That's probably... <laughs> uh, no, it's not. Glad to hear you're well, and glad to see Dick and Dom joke book I sent. It's already getting so much use. See, that was something. I think that is that... Have I put that on the shelf? I think it might be on the on the bottom shelf. Uh, I was crying with laughter at the fudge bucket nonsense. Hopefully everything else I sent was even a fraction as enjoyed as the joke book. The fudge bucket moment was a good one. Um, mods ban Peter. So, hang on. Let me um, let me look on. Hang on, I'm not even sure how to how to unban someone uh, on Twitch. Do I have to like go somewhere separate? Let me just on Twitch. Do no, shut up. That's me opening Twitch in the background. Um, create a dashboard. Possibly, maybe someone has accidentally banned Streamlabs or something. 
uh, stream manager that I'm not, hmm, hang on, community, is that it, no, uh, honestly I'm not even sure how to find a list of banned users, um, can I type like slash unban, is that a real, yes it is, okay, let's just try. Unbanning Streamlabs. Is it called Streamlabs officially? Is that is that its username? I'm trying to remember what it's actually called. Um, it might be might be Cloudbot. Streamlabs is not currently banned from this channel. Cloudbot is that one? It's not banned. I don't know. Streamlabs, I think, is just not working. As I say, it was being weird on um, on Friday when we were doing our charity stream. So for the time being. Shrug, um, something that I might have to look at outside of live lifetime. Could it have happened accidentally during this video stream? I don't think so. I don't think so. Just turn it off and on again. I mean, I can, I can turn, I can disable and re-enable re some of these alerts, but I don't think that's really how it, how it works, you know? Um, okay, I've disabled and re-enabled exclamation mark VODs. Is that gonna work? No. I don't know everyone, Streamlabs isn't working properly, um, but whatever, we've got a stream to do, so we're going to crack on and uh, hey, it's just up to actual human beings such as myself and the mods, are they, are the mods human? To um, let you guys know if you want to know anything um, in terms of, uh, uh, you know, where you can find the VODs and uh, where you can, how you can donate or, or whatever, it is, or if you want a Volavond. Um, Streamlabs is a whole thing, maybe, says Lord Poptovich. I'm not even sure how I turn... Is there a master switch for Streamlabs? Don't forget to mod Streamlabs by typing, typing slash mod Streamlabs in your chat. Well, I think I've done that, but I'll try it again. I'll try and re-mod. Yeah, it's already a moderator of this channel. Um, hmm. I don't know. Let's not... I'm not going to dwell on it any longer because it's taking up valuable Beyond Good and Evil time. It could be that Streamlabs is just broken um, because it was being weird with us on Vidiots the other day, or it could be something um, that has specifically gone wrong on our back end somewhere on Streamlabs, but I don't know. I simply do not know. I don't really know where to look while I'm sitting here live and trying to also present a stream because I'm not that talented. Why am I even in this job? I don't know. I fell into it. Oh, Cloudbot is switched off on the back end. I see there is a thing at the top, isn't there? Um, hang on. Oh, now that, that might be it. I did, there was actually a really big switch at the top of the back end. Let's try. Hey, hey, I did it. I did it. Maybe Ben was accidentally logged in as Triple Jump um, when he turned off Cloudbot on the video stream. There is just a really big, well, it's not big, that's the problem, but there is a, a, just a switch at the top that says Cloudbot off, and I've switched it on. Hey, I, I'm i proud of myself. Um, it only took me like, you know, 10 minutes to solve that. And all of this completely irrelevant to people watching on the on the VOD on YouTube. So apologies to those who had to sit through all that. Hopefully you skipped it all. Anyway, should we play the game? Let's play the game. I think I've read all of the alerts. Um, and uh, no, Demented Space, subscribed via Prime for 29 months, testing, testing, is this thing on? Um, I mean, it is now. Uh, thank you, Demented Space. Uh, and Dr. Goblin, again, thank you for your bits and for sending in a lovely package. Thank you to everyone who sent in some wonderful treats um, on, on the Tata Peel. We're very, very lucky. We feel really fortunate. And I've got far too much chocolate and Harry Bow in my downstairs cupboard, and I'm struggling to resist. Right, let's do it. I've got a very hot cup of tea between me and the keyboard, so let's move that over there so that I do not scold myself just in time for Chrism. Um, right, let's launch the game. Uh, so, last place we were, hang on, PC gameplay, there it is. I think the last thing we did was go to the uh, the Neutropils factory and 
move our camera vertically to try and get this secret easter egg to work. Um, and we're now in the Akuda bar, which is good. So, we've got the second pearl. I don't have to play the that, that game anymore ever again. Um, in fact, one thing I should do while I'm in the Akuda bar, let me just uh, switch back to face cam because I'm going to pull up a tab on my browser of choice and see if there's, there should be somewhere on the internet where I can get my beyond good and evil internet code. Because somebody... Um, ah, okay. This should work. So, let me tab across to... Um, hey, Rithian's in the chat. Welcome, Rithian. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. So this is BGE Myth. It's a fan site. It's unofficial, but I think this here... Can you see my cursor? I think you can. Um, enter your internet code. Has the sort of applet that still works. Um, so when the game originally came out, um, as you can see by this very small screenshot, oh, there we go. Uh, this is in French, but um, when you go on your load and save, at the bottom it says code internet. Um, and uh, oh, how do I go back? I pressed F11. There we go. <laughs> no, exit full screen. Close. There we go. Um, and you enter that code. Uh, the, originally, the plan was that you would enter that code into the official Beyond Good and Evil website or like hillionnews.net or something like that. And it gives you then a code that you can punch into a locker that's in the Akuda bar. Um, code internet is French for internet code, says Rithian. Oh, thank you very much. That's useful to know. Rithian is um, he's a French native, as everyone knows. Uh, <laughs> um, no. Uh, so... If I now pull up the game um, and head over to, oops. So our, yes, game save, which is French for save game. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, right, you guys are going to be able to see me punching it in because I'm going to have to leave that window. Oh, I can't even leave that window open because I, hang on, let me take a photo of it. Because of the way this game works or doesn't work on PC, when I want to tab out, I can't actually leave it open in a separate monitor. So taking a photo on my Mobley, um, and now <laughs> it it just works. Okay, here we go. So it was uppercase N, lowercase T, RK. I feel like a hacker, guys. W, W. No, hang on. W, W, uh, X, 1, D, I, oh, there's a flipping capital, I think, V in it, but this, the um, font makes uppercase Vs and C, uh, Vs and Us quite difficult, um, but we will see, and there's a lowercase U as well. I think this is it. This code contains a wrong character. How? N, T, R, K, W W X one D I V C nine Y U Z. It doesn't. Could that be an I? No. Could that be a U? Yes. B six W eight. Well, that could be exactly what I was just trying to describe there with uh, the Bs and Us. Right, let's give it a go. So it's um, here. B, six. Oh yeah, look at that. See, it's actually a, a U, not a V. It does look like a V, doesn't it? Uh, w, A, please work. Hell yes. And inside, it's um, it's disc game. Which we can use remotely, but hey, you know, if ever you're um, out on a mission and you fancy a little bit of Go. a bit of disc game, you know, if you're a glutton for punishment, and if you want to listen to the Akuda Bar music uh, while you're out on a mission as well, you know, that's that's something. I win. Quit. 
and never play again. Um, so that is how you use the, how you do the internet code in Beyond Good and Evil. More disc game. Um, so, uh, let me see. Um, while we are in... Interestingly, actually, for those who don't realise, um, you see, I think, is this Francis? Rufus. Um, Rufus here has a 12 on him, and this is Red, and Red has a 7 on her. Um, who I can't, I can't seem to talk to her. And those two are, um, they, they are, or is she called Seven? I thought she was called Red, but she's called Seven. And they are, um, racers who you actually race against in the hovercraft races. You don't necessarily realise, but these are their, uh, their records, the best times. There you go. Uh, the will of Phil subscribed for 39 months, currently on a 24-month streak. Rise, Hillians, everyone with Iris. Thank you very much, the will of Phil. So, one more thing to show you on the internet um, is, I think, the final um, kind of... Uh, uh, prerequisite or criterion... Um, BGE uh, uh, secret email. Um, no, beyond good and evil secret email. I'm trying to find it. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to find the right page. Okay, here we go. Oops, something went wrong. No, it didn't. I've opened this page before. Oh, come on. <laughs> Just give it to me. Um... I literally had this tab open like earlier as well, and now it's not working. Uh, hang on, let me go in my history. Um... Here we go. I've got it. I've got it. Translate from French to English. Um, good. So, uh, here we go. Oh, wow, that's uh, that's gone nice, hasn't it, on F11? Let's just not do... Oh, no, it doesn't... It's not even gone back to how it was. Hang on, let's refresh the page. God's sake. Okay, here we go. Uh, are we back onto French? Okay, let's go English. So, um, second condition, go to the nutrient factory in the electrical room. We've done that one. We, we did that at the end of the previous stream. Third condition, at the entrance to Ming Tzu's shop, in the small room where the M-disc reader is located, there too, switch to camera mode and look vertically. This condition can be met any time during the game, but before leaving for Selen. Fourth condition, after broadcasting the report from the transmitter, the countdown begins. Uh, Jane and her companions... Go back into the monorail and try to just at the exit of the monorail again, switch to camera mode and look vertically. Spoilers, we're going to do a broadcast in the transmitter today. Oh, big, big spoilers. So we need to go in the room where the M disc reader is located and switch to camera mode and look vertically and get absolutely no feedback or anything to tell you whether you're doing it right. I've never done this before. I don't know if it's working. I don't know if the previous two looking vertically things are correct. This is an M-disc reader, right? I'm looking vertically. Standing by the M-disc reader. Stand in the entrance to the room, maybe. Stand here and do it. Okay. I just wish it did a tiny, even just a tiny thing to tell you that you're doing it right, because we could have just done it wrong. Um, have we got our copies of Iris? I think we have. From our, our, the reports that we've done, I think we've got them all. We have, that's fine. So, that is it, in, pretty much, in terms of the email. Um, when the fourth condition is met, we will know straight away whether we've done it right, because it, that's when you're supposed to receive the email. So, um, it's anyone's guess as to whether it has worked. But, now we have got a special key that will allow us to get into a couple of special alpha sections areas now. Shed. Oh. 
Oh, enter your code. Oh yeah, this guy, a guy gave us a, a, um, a ticket for this, right? Alpha section's ticket. P6W8. Oops. Nice. That gives us a pearl. And a Starco's. Oops. Oh no. They're taking... They're taking the Starco's. I've already got a picture of them as well. I just gave one away for free. but Because uh, I've seen one of these lockers in a previous room. But yeah, if you put a Starco's down on the crumbs, the little bugs will come out and take it away. And they have to take a snap off them. So this is just a small shed with a one pearl in it. But there are a couple more. Uh, we've done that one. Um, what is up here? This has got to be one as well, right? Transit. They call that a protected district, and they just let it fall to ruins. In any case, there's a passage. We can sneak through. Can you fit, Double H? No, I'm on my own. There's something going on over there. I'm gonna go have a look. I'll stay here. In other words, I can't fit. Ooh, okay. So, now the real Star Wars Episode 2 begins. Some good music as well. Tense. You have to sprint, otherwise, uh, otherwise you get zapped. Chris Thompson's thumbs. It's Chip Thompson, but we all call him Chris. Uh, here's to more disc game in 2024. Six months uh, subscribed for a four-month streak. Thank you very much, Ch Chip slash Chris. Chip Stiffer. Is this like Scott Pilgrim? And they're Ramona's 7th and 12th Evil Axes. Yeah. Um, hop. Down we go. It'd be nice if there was a bit more, um... I mean, you know, this game does a lot in terms of, like, depth and, and, and kind of development and stuff, but, uh... It would have been nice to kind of have a bit more rivalry with some of the hovercraft races. Um, you know, like, encounter them. It's very much, it's a very much an afterthought, which is fine. Um, or, a, you know, it's, it's, it's just a, a little side mission thing. Um, the old uh, the old hovercraft races in this game. But, uh, yeah, you have to be careful here because these boxes will come down and push you. Um, so these are incinerating these crates. We don't really know what's going on. This is a, an old district of the city that the Alpha Sections have taken over and they've, they've just got this like strange assembly line going on. Going the right way. Oh no, I've, I've doubled back on myself. But yeah, it would be, uh, you know, if they ever did like a, a full on remake of this game, like from the ground up, which they wouldn't do, but, uh, you know, just hypothetically, if they did, it'd be really fun to see them, like, you know, do a bit of a Capcom and um, expand on some stuff and maybe, you know, having, having some encounters with hovercraft racers and building up a bit of a rivalry with them rather than it just being like a little little bonus mission which it's you know it's still great as a as a bonus as a side a side thing but uh yeah okay sprint Ooh. oh oh god it's nearly quite bad. Uh, OK. 
Okay. Oh god. It's tough. I think this is the end now. Really, this is just a it's a glorified sort of platforming puzzle, but you know, Jade is trying to work out what's going on here. In fact, you know, one thing I don't do enough in this game is um, scan stuff with my camera. Defense secret, low biological activity detected. So there's stuff in there. Oh my god, I think... So these crates are what they use to transport the Hillians to the moon. To, like, drain them of all their energy. Um... And I assumed, like, this is them just, like, disposing of empty crates, but it might be that these have the husks of dead people inside them that have been used. They've been brought back to the surface for disposal. I don't know. Or maybe they just have a little bit of... I don't, I don't know. I can hear a little bit of Dom's chanting as well in this music. It's, uh, it's eerie. Roman, welcome in. Good to see you. Yeah, a little, just a little bit of Monica left inside each crate. Uh, oh, I just accidentally took the... I wondered what that was. I stood here and it said take, and I, so I did. Uh, there's a pearl up there. I'm supposed to climb up and get it. Um, somehow. What? Uh, oh, can she do... Oh, I thought that might be too high for her, but no. Um, okay. Here we go. Double H, you alright? Some kind of weird traffic going on with some cases and a pearl. Uh Okay, let's go. Oh dear, Lazarus just subscribed. 41 walrus loving months. When I first subbed here, the thought of a Beyond Good and Evil 2 seemed like a fever dream of a madman. Good times. I know, well. At the moment, still feels like the fever dream of a madman, but at least a remaster is confirmed, or has has been initially confirmed. Whether they, they actually follow through and do it is another thing, but, um, yeah, I think they will. I mean, it looks nearly done, given the fact that an entire playable version leaked. Um, so let's, I don't think I've done this one, have I? Alpha sections underground. Uh... Or have I? There's some stuff in there. Can Double H go through and press the button? Or is this an exit? Do I come through here when I'm done? Huh. Uh, can't remember how to do that one, for now. It might be a way out of a previous... of a, of a different one. Um, such as down here, we can get into... Oh yeah, I'm gonna to have to get Double H to smash it just in front of the of the guards. It's fine. You all wear the same uniform. You're all mates. Excuse me, sir. So I think there's another runny bit, another chase segment in here, which is fun. I know where that leads to. Nino told me about this place, the secret storehouse of the Alpha sections. Okay. Oh, it's one of these. It's one of these lifts that only works from the outside. Yes, sir. Kappa cow, welcome. Hello. Be careful. Yeah, do hydrate. I've got my tea. Earl Grey, if you please. Okay, she's in sneak mode now, which means be careful. That means baddies are nearby. This really surprised me that there was all this stuff going on in uh, in the city when, uh, you know, I didn't discover a lot of this. Well, you don't discover a lot of this until later on in the game. Um, and uh, you're so used to the city being a, a relatively kind of calm place of safety. I mean, all right, with a few a few soldiers in there and a bit of propaganda playing out on the screen. But for the most part, it's... Um, you know, it seems a it seems a pretty safe haven, um, and then you go off into these like little 
channels and stuff, he saw me. But he thinks it must have been the wind. Um, and yeah, there's all this stuff going on, like... Oh god, someone was looking. I thought, isn't there only one guy down there? Oh, he was facing this way. I thought he just turned around. Anyway, it's fine. Presumably, if I step into that light, I'm in trouble. Oh no. If I keep my back to the wall, ah, that's fine. I don't, I don't get seen by the light. Uh, had to do that. It's Peter, I think he's good, Austin, says Happy Hammy. You think I'm good? Good as in... Oh, good at, good at something. Good at the game. Or good as in... Alright. Well. I think he's good. Are you good? I'm good. In what sense am I good, Happy Hammy? I need to know. It's important. Yeah, do see a physician if you've got runny bits. Plus your lab's genic and is correct. We got a pearl. Taken back from the alpha sections. And we these these are important, these pearls. I think we do have enough now. We needed 30, but um, yeah, at this point in the game, you need all the pearls you can get. Because we're going for 100%, we, ha we have... What's down here? Ah. Um, you need all the pearls you can get because we're trying to buy a stellar motor, which will allow us to get to space. Will this reopen the door if I stand on the button? Yes, it will. God, I can't wait until a version of this game comes out with controller support. Oh, jeez. It's not easy to play with a mouse and keyboard. Well, in hindsight, you know, before starting this playthrough, I might have actually downloaded a third-party thing that allows me to use a, a controller. But then the disc game would have been harder, presumably, because uh, it works slightly differently, I think, when you do that. But, anyway... Um, yeah, I'm hoping at the end of this we come out of the uh, that room that had lasers on the on the front of it because I'm not really sure. I don't know. Hmm. I'm not really sure how to get into that room. Go through. Oh! I told you there was a runny bit. Uh oh! Didn't stand in the light. There are more guards as you run along here, and I think they say, huh, as you run around the corner, because they hear you. They don't hear all the laser fire. Oh. God, it's so fun, this game. Again, for the t There. <laughs> it's coming. There, so they, they, like, get... Go through, like, a normal alert. Oh, God. Jesus. Oh, my God, I just got... Stuck in it. I needed a bit of iframe there, I think. Um, but yeah, some of those guards are on on like just no alert mode, and then you, you sprint along making all this racket, and they go, "Huh? I heard something." I'm going. Alert. Excuse me, sir. Oh, no, don't stand in that. I've got a health bar for double H. Is he going to come to my rescue again? No, it's fine. Miss Jade, everything all right? Everything's fine. Fine, but we better get out of here before they discover what I just borrowed from them. Borrowed from them. Nice. So, I'm going to eat a delicious box of K-Bubs. No. That. Eat the packet. <laughs> Extra fibre for your diet. Maybe I've been in the uh, the room with the, the laser gate before. Um, and I've already cleared it out, and that's why it's now closed off with a laser. Um, but I just forgot to pick up the K-Bubs. I don't know. Hang on, let me... F mm. Open me map. Should tell. Ooh, 
It should tell me on the outside if there are any pearls through this door. And if there is any sort of um, puzzle to be done, it will tell me. Ah, see, there's another door I've not yet been through with a bunch of pearls. So that could be... I have a feeling this might be an exit to um, somewhere. So where is that? Down, down the way. Sort of in front of me. Oh, is it towards the... Yeah, towards the Akuda Bar. And to the left. In there. Ah, yeah, this will probably be it, I think. So. Yeah, stun locked. Aha, I think we found the way in, Miss Jade. We have. Power in numbers, Miss Jade. Carlson and Peters, Chapter 21. It's blocked, Miss Jade. It is. Oh, and there's a pipe, so you it's can't get in. Blocked by the alpha sections. Be careful. Okay. Okay, we'll catch up further on. So I think this is like a laser puzzle, yeah. So you can sort of do these as you go. I'm kind of doing them all in one go, but as you unlock each um, shaped key, you know, I used the triangle key to get in there just now. I used the square one earlier. Uh, we used the star one to get into the the big the big runny sequence. Uh, was the star key, star key. Um, so uh, yeah, you can be doing them throughout your throughout your adventure, but uh, I'm just doing them all now. Get down! Oh God, the iframes! Thank God. Um, shimmy. Um, you can touch these lasers while they're thin. Once they're doing their animation of disappearing, they're actually safe to touch. Which is good. Oh no. Oh god. Here it comes. Like there. See, I can go right through it, fortunately. I'm through. I'm safe. Dangle. Uh, is that low or high, that laser? Let's find out. It is high. Uh, low, sorry. I need to jump over it. Oh, no. Ooh. Okay. Oh, and now I think possibly... Yeah, there's guards. There's a guard down there. There's an instant death laser, and these guards can't be kicked in the back because they've got no tanks. Okay. So I'm hoping when I've escaped this area, it's going to let me out. Oh, God. That was right around the corner. I could not have known that that was there. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping it will come out where that red laser gate was and I can grab the cape ups because otherwise that'll really bug me that they're lost forever. Can I jump over something that high? Yes. Okay. Game is telling me that is the way out through this heavily guarded room. There's an awful lot of tech in there. So I'm gonna have to walk behind this man, I think, as the uh, as the lasers turn off for him. These guys can actually walk through these lasers, so I'm not really sure why the lasers even get disabled. But okay, safe. Oh, we saw nothing. Rats. So there's a way out there. Why can I go further up here? Don't know. Oh. Ah, okay. So, probably I have to shoot a disc through there. So I can shoot this and turn that off, but that won't turn that off. So I think first I have to do that. Oops. Pearls. 
Got him. 42. Quick before those lasers turn back on, which they may or may not do. The square key. Oh, hello. <laughs> there are people. Right. And more instant death lasers hovering in the corners. So these lasers aren't turning off. So I have to crouch past this man. And there's a button over there, which I presumably have to press. Probably opens this door. Is he going to say, that's odd? Oh, whoops. Oh, okay, yeah, he's got a tank. I didn't think about that. But that's okay. Oh, the door's going to close. Oh. oh, no. Okay. Okay, there we go. No, hang on. Jesus. Let him go with Crouch too soon. So, what now? Oh, a man. Oh, God. <laughs> he saw me. Um, there's a laser at the top of the lift shaft. This is fun. I like this. So it tells you with a little visual clue there that where the next guard is is going to be standing. It's fun. You know, I'll give them I'll give them that that uh, they they tried to come up with like various different ways of having you sneak around and you know kept it interesting. You know, we've had the different like laser puzzles and this is something new and oh, he's getting on onto the lift. Tons of alpha sections in the subsoil of Hillis. Better not stick around here much longer. Told you. Told you we'd come out here. Double H just happened to know where we would be for some reason. Don't know. Don't know how. And I think that is basically every pearl in the city that I've got now. Uh, no sign of more pearls. So, we head back to the hovercraft. Or the hovercraft, as they say in America, for some reason. Some of them do. I do I do enjoy that kicking them in the butt is the way you need to take out the guards. Indeed. I'd have it no other way. Oops. Oh, jeez. I still don't know the controls. Right. Um. So, now, pearls. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, TP and all. I broke out of Twitch jail, but had to game the system a bit to do so. Had to make a new email and everything. But I am and will always be Big Titty Jesus 42. BTJ42, because Twitch is not fun. Thank you to you, Big Titty Jesus 42, for giving some bits there. Um, I'm glad to hear, and technically it's a first time chat, I'm glad to hear that you have escaped the wrath of um, Twitch. You're not allowed to be called Big Titty Jesus. It is rude and uncouth, apparently. Um, so we've got a few more pearls remaining, and then that is it. We can go and well, we can always we can already go and buy our stellar motor, but we're not going to until we've got all the pearls, and we can go to space. Space. Uh, there is the beluga waiting for me. Um. And so, let's fly over to where these last few pearls are. There's a great big ray thing swimming around in the sky over here. Look at that. 
Look at that. Oh, God. Uh, so, I think we might have... Um, okay. I think we've got at least one looter's cave to do, by the looks of it. Which seems to be over here. Is this where we're, this where we're looking? Yes. Uh, it might not be a looter's cave. It might be like a, a Forax lair, actually. Bonk. It is. It's the Forax lair. That's nope, fine. Can't shoot, here. It's too oh. dangerous. shoot is the same button as dock. And if uh, if you're not actually by a dock, she thinks you're trying to shoot. Which is not great. Who's Big Ray? You saw him. Big old Raymond flying through the sky. Oh yeah, PA1. <laughs> Guess what, Double H? You're not having it. Look at that health bar. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay. I'm going to need my friend here yes, sir. to give it a whack. Thank you. Pearl Krochak straight ahead. He's fighting in retreat. Oh. Krochak, but it's a Vorax layer. Oh, hello. Crystals first. They've gone. Get him. Do I have to just knock them all off the edge? Still alive. Done. Ouch. Respect the home team, chapter twelve. Apologies. Oh god, some jellies. Oh my god, I'm sorry, device. <laughs> I think, um, I may have already said this. I, oh, I can't turn. I should probably... If I only have the one child... Oh, I can't actually reach that with the thing. If I only have one child in my life, maybe I should call him Carlson. And then when my wife has to call us both, you know, downstairs, because we're, we're upstairs playing video games or whatever. Should I have to shout Carlson and Peter. That'll be worth it, I think. Worth it for, just for the joke. Every time. Yes, Double H not getting anything after seeing Jade give food to bugs earlier. Yeah. <laughs> bugs that we didn't even need a photo of. Oh, that's not going to reach, is it? That's fine. There's one over here. Okay, so that's that. Oh, hang on, one more. I don't even need any of these crystals. I've got 14,000 monies, but music's a bit loud in here, isn't it? I think. I don't know. Tea time, Carlson and Peter, indeed. Yeah. Oh, okay. If you do just have the one and anyone says, how's the kids? You can all get it loud. It's just the one child, actually. If you do just have one, and now it says, how the kids? Yeah, I will. Thank you for the bits. Talk to Goblin. The audio mix is definitely a bit off in here, but that's fine. Can I, can I shoot discs at these guys? No. That's fine. 
Not only am I not giving him any health, I'm constantly whacking him. <laughs> okay, that's a Pearl Crochet from a Pearl Crochex. Even though it's called the Forax Layer, which is a different but very similar animal in this universe. And I think that's it by the looks of it. It's just a single pearl, but that's fine. We're on our way out. Uh, thank you for the bits. Dr. Goblin. Yeah, it's a good reason to have just the one, actually. I definitely have got all the pearls, haven't I, from here? Yeah. Okay, good. So. Maybe I've done all the looters. There's more. There's a singular pearl somewhere on the other side of the map. And then a, a cluster of them, which I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember what those might be. Oh, come on, Double H. Where are you? There he is. Oh my god, he got stuck. Jeez. That could have been it. We could have been soft locked. <laughs> I should probably save the game a bit more often than I do. Because it. It's pretty stable, but you never quite know, do you? Right. Um, so, there's one pearl dead ahead of me on that little island. Which, again, could be a looter's cavern, possibly? I can't remember. Ah, it is. Okay. This might be tough. Right, yeah. Look out, Miss Jade! Looters! Looters! Don't let them get away, Miss Jade! Yeah. So I have to ask, how bad off were you after the game of words? As I could feel the pain you were in by the end. God. It was funny as hell, yes, but I also didn't want you guys to be able to go home. What you need to do better. Is it just me or is the game quite loud? I've not done anything to it. Or maybe it's just loud for me. I think I have separate audio to you guys. Oh, wow. It's really tight, this one. And with the very, very bad cornering controls in the PC version of the game, we could be in trouble here. Let me know in the chat if you think the game's a bit loud. Because if it is, I'll turn it down. But it might just be like my own output. Which doesn't affect you guys. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, there's no way we're getting through this door. Oh, we are. We're through. These are fun. I wish there were more of these. Oh, sweet. I did it. Oh my god, destroyed it instantly as well. You can't actually blow it up during the, the chase. It's only when you get to this cave that you can do it, but I guess I was right on the edge of the, the permitted uh, space where you can do that. So that's fun. The music is exciting, sounds fine. Sound is good. It's not loud at all. Okay, it's just me. I might just, for my own sanity, uh, just dip it a little bit for, my, for myself. But... Oops, blim, blim. Um, okay. Do, 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 Right. Let's hook up with the old beluga. And then go to this last little cluster of pearls. I'm not sure what that is. There's a lot of them, though. It's probably another flipping crochax layer, which I don't really want to do, if I'm, if I'm honest, but... We're going for that Hundo and Hundo Six, Hundo Seven. It's the same as accelerating the hovercraft. You've got the fire button and even the retro rockets. None of the army's ships are equipped with it. I don't know why he's only just saying that now, but he's right. Oh God! Equipped a few boosts. Oh, I didn't get that one. <laughs> Whizzed right through it. Um, so, where is this last... Hang on, I can zoom, can't I? Yeah. Uh, to my right. 
down down there. Oh. Oh yeah. I forgot about this place. Just a just a look. Oh god, that flipping silverfish attacked me. Let's save the game. Yeah, this is just a little extra. You know, Alpha Section's territory. My hovercraft is full of eels. It is now. How's it going, Justin? Good to see you. Um, kick. Right. Square key. Oh yeah, I remember. Crochax, Miss Jade. He's getting away with a pearl. It is more Crochax, but at least the uh, the environment is different. It's um, it is an old Alpha Sections base. Yeah, Mecha Impulse, Bravo, Yid. I mean, this game already looks, you know, fairly pretty. This is, um... Is this the HD version I'm playing? Or is it just that the PC build always looked quite sharp? Like, you know, I know the textures are still old-looking, but it looks quite nice. And I don't think this is the actual HD version they released on, like, 360 or something. Or maybe it is. Maybe it's, um, it's not called that on PC, but maybe they're almost one and the same, or, or very similar. Um, and originally the console version just looked worse than the PC, and then they released a console version that looked as good as the PC version. Um, not sure. But, uh, I have played the HD version before on console, but it's been a long time. Um, but, you know, for a 2003 game... Some of this stuff looks really nice. Oh, I've got to order in a new security bot. Oh god, I hit double H. Oh, I'm going to do it again. Oh no. Hang on. Come over here. He's standing in the way again. Oh, for goodness. Okay, I think I... Did I do it? Uh... Okay. Um. Oh my god, I don't know what was going on there. That was really weird. <laughs> that was very odd. It's not supposed to do that. I did pick this up when it was on sale on GOG, but I'm thinking maybe I should wait for the remaster now. I mean, maybe you should. It sounds like it, we're going we're gonna to hear more in early 2024. I don't know if that just means anywhere in the, within the first quarter, or if it might literally be like early January, or what. And that's when we hear more. That might not be necessarily when we get the game. Um, yeah, I'd I'd, uh, I'd say you're the best judge of. Um... Oh my god! I'm gonna have to just keep bringing in robots. I think um, you're the best judge of, of maybe what you think would work for you. Um... Uh, if you think you're likely to... I definitely think it sounds like the remaster will be... Assuming they don't GTA Trilogy it and make it look like crap. and Or play like crap or both. Which... Alright, there have been some conflicting reports about how good the... Well, no, there have been some negative reports about how good the leaked version was. But Ubisoft are saying that was an early build and should not have been played. The official stuff looks alright. Oh, well, it looks good. The official screenshots look really good. So I'd like to... And they're, they're taking the time and they're adding extra content to it. Albeit, it might only be a little bit, but they, they've gone out of their way to add extra content. So that's all good. So I'd like to think they're going to do a good job of it. And therefore, I think the remaster will be the superior version. It will be the best way to play in 2024. I mean, as I've said ad nauseum throughout this run... The controls aren't great. This is the good old games version that I'm playing, and the controls are not ideal. I'm sort of 
Hey Jade, I think you found all the pearls on the planet. I'm transferring an MDIS to you. It's a little promotional game that Esam's working on at the moment. I hope you like it. Mamago! Hey, we did it, everyone. We've got the pearl game. What is this? I'm missing an M-Disc. Oh my god. What's M-Disc number eight? I'm gonna have to... Garage is the one who's gonna be happy. I'm gonna have to find out. Oh no, what is M-Disc number eight? I cannot go on without the eighth M-Disc. It might be a story one, and, and although, you know, you'd think it would be at the end if it's for a late mission... Maybe they just do all the story ones as one to eight, and then all the ones after eight are just all the, the bonus secondary things. Maybe it's something we get later on. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll do a quick Google in a moment, and hopefully I'll be able to... Um, let me save it. What was I saying? So yeah, I think it's going to be the superior way to play, the remaster. It's hopefully going to look better. It's hopefully going to have some quality of life improvements in terms of controls and camera and stuff. Um... The current best way to play, by the sounds of it, is the HD version, which is still available for Xbox players. Um, it's backwards compatible, so I think you can still play it on series, even though it came out on Xbox One, or X maybe even 360, the, the HD version, I can't remember. But um, if you think you're going to be able to, you're not going to be sort of... Um, it's not going to have been too recent for you to then replay it when the remaster comes out, then by all means play it before then. Play the, the good old games version. But... Uh, if you think that you won't really want to play both of them back to back, then I would maybe wait so that you can enjoy what I hope will be the best version of it. But that's just my advice. And as I say, it depends on whether you think you're going to want to play it twice in quick succession. Right, I'm missing M-Disc number 8. Might be for the animals. Lobrotovich, you are correct. It is for the animals, and we are going to get that in just a moment. So we are basically at... 100% of everything we can have done so far, other than continuing the story, which I'm about to do. And that is a point of... This is a point of no return in the game. Once you, um... Well, that's not strictly true. There's a... Ooh, it's freaking out a bit. Look at that. <laughs> um... We're about to hit a point of no return. Technically, you can return once you've left the atmosphere. You just can't return once you've entered the lunar atmosphere. Um, just for context, and so that we've um, had all of the, uh, well, most of the audio lines read, if we try and fly into space at the moment... Gravity of Hillis is too strong. We need a stellar motor to have enough power. There we go. We can't reach. And actually, I don't have to uh, disconnect my... Hovercraft to go into Mama Goes. I can land through the roof. And I need to because they need to install this stellar motor. So, oh god. There's. I'll tell you something as well which I've not mentioned throughout. When I press. When I press spacebar, right, listen to me press it. I'm just gonna go like that and watch what happens to my engines. No, that's not right. The controls in this game originally are hold to go, which is why I've been doing a lot of crashing in this ship. And I can't just go slowly, you know, so if I want to now edge my way towards this thing. Are you going to be watching the Christmas Bash stream tonight? The Christmas Bash stream tonight. Thank you, Pensive Games, for the 100 bits. Um... I'm, I'm not aware of what that is. Uh, is that a Jingle Jam thing? Um, hey, Sam. One camshaft to go. Cunning stunts, one one one. Hey, Pete, random question about the Yorkscast Jingle Jam is on currently. Would you guys ever consider working with them again for charity, or are you guys finished working with them all together? Thank you, Cunning Stunts. We're not at all finished uh, working with them in terms of a... It's not like a stance. You know, we're not saying, like, oh, I'm not working with, with them anymore. We had a, a, a great time working with them. It was a shame what happened with um, just the, the success, or lack thereof, of um, of Vidiots um, as a video production uh channel you know it still still exists as a podcast but it was a shame about uh the way that that went we had fun doing it and uh but it wasn't wasn't really viable to just allow 
three boys to continue being silly for that length of time. Um, but uh, no, I mean we've we've worked with them actually as as part of Triple Jump, uh, or certainly we've we've done stuff with Fourth Floor, who are a sister company. Uh, they were based in the same building. I don't as know if the I think... as new and the installation is included, Jade. Don't let an occasion like this one get away from you. There it is. Uh, fourth Floor were a, uh, a sort of a PR company. They, they make connections between creators and brands who want to do brand deals. And we continue to do deals with uh, Fourth Floor, um, who are York's cast adjacent. And uh, we've seen, Ben and I have since been back and done stuff for um, uh, York's cast. We, we commentated a... Uh, uh, a wrestling thing that they did when uh, WWE 2K23 came out, I think it was. Um, and we still uh, were part of the, the Pickaxe Network on Vidiots, which is the Yogscast um, podcast network. So, yeah, we would happily continue to do stuff with them. We've, um, I think there's a, a big queue of people who are always keen to be part of Jingle Jam. And we did a Jingle Jam when we worked there. Um, so we're not necessarily the first... People to get a a, a call. Um, well, they that's the thing. I don't think they they put out calls necessarily saying we want you for Jingle Jam. I think it would be up to us to say, please, can we have a slot in Jingle Jam? And uh, we kind of feel like you know there are a lot of other people who want that opportunity, and it's always a very busy schedule. And then also you then have to worry about me, Ben, and Mikey all being free to do stuff. So um, we're, we're we love our Yogscast friends and we have worked with them since and we probably will continue to work with them when the occasions arise um as for jingle jam don't know it's a logistical issue as much as anything else so maybe maybe not i don't know uh, but there's there's no there's certainly no uh, hard hard no on that at all um hey jay nice piece huh stella motor almost new with that, you could get yourself out of a black hole. Uh, Pencil Game says the stream for Philip J. Reed. Oh, Christmas bash. I don't know anything about this. Um, I mean, perhaps I'll have to I'll have to find out what what's what's uh, what's the deal um, after the stream. But um, what's going on? You must, uh, you have been debited 30 pearls. That's our Stella Motor purchased. Hate to leave before the end of the stream, but I gotta go. Take care, TP and Walscan. Thank you, Drew, for being here. Have a good one. Um, supplies the necessary power to break free from the Hillian gravity. Almost new. Um, that's Stella Motor. Uh, now, before we get to end game stuff and it becomes inappropriate for us to stop and play silly games, let's play a silly game. Um, Pearl game. Yo, Pearl! It's not my Pearl, it's Yo, Pearl. This is by Isam Mamago. Uh, the record is 140,646. So. Oh my god, what are the controls? How do I control the other one? Does it work on PC? Yeah, alright, hang on. Stop stop joshing with me. Hang on. Is it my numpad? No. <laughs> hang on, is it the arrow keys? Yes, it is. Alright, let's, let's start again. So you have to control both of these pearls. The left one with WASD. The right one with your arrow keys. Uh, in On the console, it's it's like twin sticks, you know? Um, and it gets pretty tricky. There's like little rotating like carousels and stuff. Uh, sometimes it slows down like this, thank goodness, but uh, oops. See, and sometimes you get a bit Um, hang on, I'm as far over to the left as I can get there. Okay. The camera seems to move a little bit there. Sometimes you can get further left than uh, 
The pearls can touch, it's okay. Sometimes that's the easiest way to, uh, to deal with it. Oh, Jesus. It's a good track, isn't it? Oh, God. Yeah. Hang on, what? I'm as tight as I can get there. Since this is a hacker screen now, here are some hacking jokes straight into the main frame. How did the hacker get away from the police? He ran somewhere. Ha ha ha. What's he ran somewhere. Fashion. Spyware. Hi e. What's the hacker's favorite season? Fishing season. Ho ho ho. What are the Vatican's expert hackers called? Anonymous. Anonymous. What happens to German Here hackers when they encounter anti-cheat software? They get an autobahn. Hi who? Yeah. An autobahn. B B B B B B B B pearls. B B B B B B B one hundred and six percent. B B B D B B B B B B G B B B D B B B B B completion. B B B B B B B tiny Peter beyond good and evil blaze it. He runs somewhere is very good, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Jade says, here we go out of space. I hope this motor has some kick, Mama Go. Um, so, we now have a stellar motor. We can go into outer, we can go into outside space. It's very exciting. It's 420, everyone, that's the sex number. Our engines are about to blaze. Here we go. Fly up to the sky, up to the limit, and then press Q. And in Beyond Good and Evil 2, there'll be no loading screen. Omega Dipper? Out there, we're, we're surrounded by stars, Double H. I'll tell you. We're in space, guys. We are in space. Now, what is this thing? Throwing, throwing ice at me. So that is the moon. Uh, if I do want to go back to... The stellar motor is backfiring. Almost new, he said. Rhino. So the stellar motor doesn't work. It's broken. I think we can, if we want to, go back down to Hillis. We can. God, it looks like I'm burning up. I'm okay. Can I go and uh, complain? I've never. I don't think I've ever been back to Mama Goes after I found out that the stellar motor doesn't really work properly. Let's just find out what happens. Oops. Oh God. Um, Land. In space, no one can hear you in space. It's true. Hey, Jed, where you been hiding? I've been hiding in space and I nearly didn't make it back because of your flipping stupid stellar motor. Uh, is he still here? Has he gone? Okay, sold. Aha, you won't regret it, Jade. The mama go. Yeah, okay, he doesn't say anything. Just wondered. That's fine. Um, so, we'll go to space. Now, we've got one animal left, and you're thinking, hey, hang on, Peter, I thought you said this is a point of no return. Surely you've got one animal left to take a photo of on the planet's surface. Oh, no, no, no. Not. Ahead of us is the moon. The moon is where we're headed. Because um, uh, that's where the, uh, the Dom's base is. But this, big chunk of ice. What is that, you ask? Well, See what it is. It's a space whale. Have I uh, have I released it? Oh, there it is. I've got it. Oops. What are the controls? I've only been playing this for you know like six hours. Um. Staring into the sun. It's me mega mega terra anaerobia. The inventory is coming along. Thanks again. She's not that impressed with a space whale. 800 credits. No special comment. You found a space whale? None of that. 
Um, okay, your roll of film is finished. Good. I'll transfer at M disk to you, Jade. Congratulations, Jade. Thanks to you, the species inventory is now complete. We have got the final M disk. Um, and if we read that, it just has. Um, oh, I'll show you when we get to the moon. But it's just got a, um, a every one of our photos that we've taken uh, is on there. So you can just go back and look at them if you want to, which is nice, isn't it? So let's get down to the moon. This is a point of no return. Once you land on the moon, the game becomes. Um, have I definitely just got everything that I need? I think I have. I've got, I've got all the animals. I know that. I've got all the pearls because I've been told that. I've got all the M discs. Yeah, we've got everything that we can, everything we can get. And I've done all of the conditions for this email, I think. So, there we go. So, you're in Space Hut, whatever, here is a disc. Yeah. If you've seen one space whale, you've seen them all. Well, even on the surface, you, you take a photo of a different giant whale, and she goes, you found it? Lunar base in sight, Miss Jane. I thought it was an old fisherman's tail, and it's like some sort of cryptid whale. And she's like, wow. And you get to space, and you're like, hey, there's a whale in space. And she's like, okay. I was convinced it was an old spaceman's tail. So this is the Dom's lunar base, where all of the humans we've been seeing in, that we've seen in crates have been... The transmitter. That's where we need to try to get in trafficked to. So we can go up the ass of this transmitter. Here we are. Um, do you think we'll be able to infiltrate the base from there? Affirmative. I spotted an anti-gravity elevator when I was outside. Okay. Email. Shawnee, I've located the probable positions of the Alpha's activities. I've added them to your map for you to look at. Send us the pictures. Okay. So, we have to get on there. Can you jump to the gangway? Too high for me, Miss Jade. I have to look elsewhere. Might be able to okay. climb up and go around. Oops, I've just told him to press a button. Right. Let's have a quick look at this uh, disc. Animal species. Ah! Woof. There he is. Animal one. There's the little Rayman bug. Oh, happy memories, everyone. Where's my um, Dom's sarcophagus where I just took a picture of some dust? Uh, <laughs> where is that? Uh... Anyone see it? There's a Dom's creature. Where's the sarcophagus? There it is. There we go. <laughs> That's my science center textbook photo of um, a Dom's sarcophagus. It's really good, isn't it? Woof is the number one animal confirmed, yeah. There's a rhino. Uh, here's Paige. Fantastic. There's Billy. Standing chatting in a crowd. Fen. Mo. It's good. I like it. Where's Shark Boy? Which Shark Boy did we take a photo of? That one. Lovely. And um, a sponge. Amazing. There we go. So, oh, they even have vending machines on the moon. It's great. So the Doms, uh, you know, they have this conspiracy going where they're like in control of the whole planet, killing people, but they still pay the K-Bups Corporation for, um... Account identification. Okay. They still use well, Hillian currency up here. Completely restores your energy. Look at my health bar. It's so a good. Of completely restores your a set of pods completely restores your vehicle's energy. Need that picture of Paige framed and on the wall. Yeah. So I'm hopeful, as I say, uh, you know, those picture pictures all look pretty grainy, but it is nice to be like, oh, that's my photo. I enjoy, it. yeah, that's, that's fun. Um, but I'm hopeful that in the remaster that all the photos that you take and that get saved will be like really crisp and nice. Because as you'll see in the final cutscene or one, one of the last cutscenes uh, today, um, last, last cutscenes of the game, there is... Um, You see some of your photos played back in a cutscene, and they look kind of, kind of crap. 
a fun bit of, you know, more clever game design here. Um, so we jump on this thing that we got Double H to uh, to move over for us. But time to push the button again. I'll move it across. And uh, you actually platform on the beluga, which is just a nice little thing. You know, again, it's that sense of scale that they were going for. Um... Will it go back by itself? You just know as soon as I let go, it's going to go, isn't it? Okay, no, it's not. I have to shoot it again. Okay. So... Tell you something, uh, uh, something else. This game just well that I meant to say at the time, um, and that we can't can't get through here. It's the access to the transmitter, not a priority for now. Things are getting complicated. We'll see about that later, Miss Jade. First, we have to find the Dom's priest to wrap up the report. You know the drill on your signal, Miss Jade. Um, so this is the transmitter, but at the moment we want to get into the lunar base, which there should be there should be access to the. Uh, yeah, so I didn't need to do that puzzle just yet, actually, but there should be. A lift, here it is, that will take us down into the base. Fortunately, it only requires two people to stand on. Um, but yeah, something that um, they did a very good job of in this game, I think, is establishing Paige as a character that you actually care about very early on in the game. Um, because it's not long before he actually, you know, you get... Mom's architecture. Right in the heart of the base, Miss Jade. Gross. It's not long before you get separated from him. Um... And, you know, a lot. There are many games where that kind of thing happens, and you don't really establish any kind of rapport with said character. And it's like, do, am I supposed to, like, actually be that. Good work. That sad that uh, that person has gone? You know, who, who were they? I barely knew them. Um, but when you're going through, like, the Black Isle and, and stuff like that, when you have, like, combat encounters, it. On several occasions, it plays a little bit of um, a cutscene where they have a fight with some crowchacks or whatever, and then Jade and Paige just sort of the fight is over, and then they turn and look at each other and like, "Hey, nice one" or whatever. You know, they just have a little chat, and there are a few moments like that. There's some in the uh, in the Nutripills factory as well, and it's it's just a clever, you know, little bit. Oh, hang on, over there we want to go. So that's the way we want to go. You have to light these doors up, but. I know that we are going to need an extra mirror. Further along in the puzzle, which you get from here. But yeah, they, they do a really good job, I think, of making you care a lot about Paige. Oh, God, sorry. Flashing lights warning. Jeez. So, Dom's architecture. This is it. I mean, God, I could just take a photo of this and send that to the Hillians and say, hey, did you guys know there's a Dom's base on the moon? That, that seems like important information. Um, so, I can do that, but I think when I come down here... Okay, no, yeah, that's all right. However, I'm aware that there's also this here, so that might be worth opening. We've lost a bit of the ambient noise for some reason. I don't know why that's happened. There we go. It was freaking out a bit for some reason. Fine. 
So, can I rotate these ones? Can you tell that I know all the solutions? So, temptation is to be like, well, what's going on there? But you have to turn it to hit that, and then turn that to do that. Send it all the way across the bridge. Cloister. It's too quiet around here. Someone is watching us. Yeah, I feel it too. They're all around us. They're waiting for us. Uh-oh. Guys, um... Prepare. It's Paige. Hang in there, Paige. I'll get you out of there. I remember it was revealed in the previous stream that Paige hey. is... Is the uh, the chief of the Alpha section of, of the Iris network? He's kept it secret from Jade all along. He had a lot of secrets. He had a secret spaceship, the codes for which he kept under his shoes. Get him out of there, Double H. Uh oh. We're too late. I'll come back for you. I'll bring you back home. There we go. Um, all this way and for nothing. He devoted his entire life to fighting for peace. The other victims, Jade. We have to wrap up the report. Now it's our turn to keep on the fight, Miss Jade. We must find the entrance to the crypt. That might be where the prisoners are being held. And doubtless where you can find the Dom's priest to wrap up your report. Paige, say something. information first. Lovely soundtrack, this game. One of many things about it I love. So, you can do some sneakies here, but I'm not really sure if it's worth worth doing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoops. He's going. I accidentally... Hit a disc. False alarm. False alarm. 
Oh, he's running back. Is that a photo that I've... I don't know. Personal photo. Oh, God, he's done it again. That corner is like... <laughs> the hitbox on that corner extends further than you think. Don't worry, it's a false alarm. I just come right out of cover next time. Oh my god, he's coming all the way. He's convinced this time there's something here. He's looking at the wall. False alarm. Okay, here we go. Partner in distress. Partner in distress. Alert! Alert! Got ya. So we basically need to take a photo of, well, proof that the DOMs and the Alpha sections are working together. Something really incriminating we want to find, and perhaps we will. Fossil arm, yes. Here we go, this is like the proper, this is like a DOMs kind of tower thing. This is Dom's AF. It's the Great Crypt. Oh, it's quick. in a little something for two into the remake, or no? I mean, could see them putting in a teaser or something like that. BTJ, thank you for the bits. Uh, 200 bits, very generous. Uh, yes, I believe that they are doing so. Um, I kind of touched on this in a previous stream. I don't necessarily want to spoil anything for those who want big, big surprises. Um, but... Basically, the trophy, the trophy guide that was leaked to... Uh, um, I want the green one, actually. The trophy guide that was leaked when uh, when the game was leaked um, mentions certain things that basically allow you to learn more about Jade's past. Um, it's like a new set of collectibles or kind of map markery things that you need to... Um, need to find, which have been added into the game, and I think they'll, I mean, they're partly, they might just be there for fun anyway, like, you know, people want to know more about Jade's past, but I think they're, they're kind of planting seeds for stuff that is actually going to factor into Beyond Good and Evil 2, so yeah, I think it's kind of all, it's kind of, yeah, the same, same sort of thing. Oh god, this is where all the bodies have been brought. So there's a That's a Dom's priest and the leader of the Alpha sections whose face is constantly put on the screen in the Hillian city. That is an incriminating photo. Publish. Double eight. Hurry up and broadcast the report from the transmitter and all of Hillis will be with us. The governor will surely be willing to help you. Shawnee Orbe's Meta. Shawnee Dom's Diendra. And we have this weird thing where Shawnee, Shawnee seems to be a Dom's Shawnee. word. 
And if you remember right from the beginning, they said to Jade that you need a code name. When she signed up to the Iris Network, they said, you need a code name for publishing reports. We're not just going to put, report by Jade, who lives at the lighthouse. Otherwise, you'll get yourself killed. Um, and she instantly says, Shawnee. She just knows that's what her code name is. And when she had the hallucinations at the start as well, she was seeing, um, like, Dom's imagery and hearing the word Shawnee and all that strange, like, Dom's language. So... It's very odd. And if you notice, you know, she has all this, like, green... She's called Jade, which is a shade of green. She's got her green eyes and her green outfit. Her green eyes are quite an iconic part of her design. And, you know, Dom's, Dom's stuff is all pretty green. You know, a lot of Hillis is kind of blue and, and uh, you know, gold and cream-coloured. But, you know, Dom's... Dom's architecture and Alpha Section's guards have the green tank on the back and, you know, it really starts becoming apparent at this point in the game that there's something weird going on here. If it wasn't already obvious from the beginning. Hillian sadistically sacrificed, drained of all their energy by a Dom's priest. Revolt, citizens! Drive out the Alpha Sections and the Doms! Um, what's up here? Nothing. Oh, I know what that's for. Yeah. All good. So we've got our photo, which of course could be fake news or hashtag Photoshop. Um... Oh, sorry, hashtag fake news or Photoshop. Uh, but... We are going to broadcast it anyway, and people are going to believe it. Double H, I saw the prisoners. It's horrible. There's hundreds of them. I was able to photograph General Keck and the Dom's priest plotting something together. We've got them, Miss Jade. We absolutely must broadcast the report from the transmitter. And then we'll come back and get Paige. Still save the other victims, Jade. We have to broadcast the report from the transmitter. If only Paige was here to see this, says Mr. Black. saw those lifts with three buttons on. Very sneaky, the whole code under the shoe bit. You found them? You didn't screw up my settings, I hope. They're exactly as I found them. Stench and all. Paige, I... You were... Dead, I know. But you saved me. You're the one that brought me back to life. You're not the one you think you are, Jade. No. There's always been a prodigious energy hidden deep inside you. Now it's coming to the surface, and you're starting to understand it. Paige, the kids, they... Yes, I know. Kidnapped too. They've taken them to the Great Crypt. The only way to get there is by using the landing strip. 
We'll have to come back in the ship, but we can't do anything for them right now. There's too few of us. We need help in order to attack the lunar base in full force. The only way of obtaining the support of the Hillians is to follow Nino's plan, wrap up the report, and use the long-range transmitter to broadcast it. Okay, let's get a move on. I love these three together. This is why I hope we really do get a proper Beyond Good and Evil 2 one day. The sequel that was planned, and even now is... Hey, wait a minute! That's the Beluga! You managed to get the old girl up and running! Of course I did. Code yeah, under the shoe. I hardly had anything to do. You must have spent a lot of time on her. Uh... I've not sent the report to mate. Well, I've sent the email. Yeah, we have to go back to the transmitter. Yeah, okay. Uh... Safe and sound in its shell. It's the iris password. The precious pearl is the slave of the currents. You never said a word to us about it. I was afraid for you. Afraid of what? You're, you're not like the others, Jade. There's something weird about Jade. Something going on. The Dom's priest is, says, says she is the Shawnee. She's just brought Paige back to life by touching his hand. I've been in it for three weeks, almost like the person who was coming to save me was going around collecting pearls and taking animal pics and going to random spots to look up and down. Oh, I'm glad you reminded me of that, Mr. Black. Yes, sir. It's coming very soon. Oh, I killed the rat. Oh god, it's zigzagging towards me. Hang on tight. We're almost to the transmitter. On the monorail. Remember when Paige mentioned Jesus as Pushy Labs Jennikin? Well, I believe. Uh, that Beyond Good and Evil 2, which is set before this game, uh, takes place um, with people leaving Earth. I think it's it's an alternate future. So I guess there is an established, you know, Christianity somewhere way back in the history of this universe. Um, you know, all the humans in this game originally come from Earth. So I've saved the game in case we missed the spot in which we have to uh, take the photo. Oh, sorry. Look vertically. But, I mean, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So this is the transmitter. But I can't use it because it's password protected. But fortunately, we have our old friend, the governor, who, because they've had a nice photo from us, will be all too happy you to decode this. You have the long-range transmitter? That's incredible. I'll work as fast as I can. Hang in there. Now, let me just, before we um, go any further, I just want to make sure what condition number four is. Go back into the monorail and arrive in transmitter entrance just at the exit of the monorail. Again, switch to camera mode and look vertically. <laughs> oh man. Okay, send me the email. Come on, Governor. There it is. Quickly. If the population revolts, the alpha sections will surely try to flee. D4P9. So, we have done every other optional thing, so other than finishing off the main quest, which you can't not do, um, we are essentially on 106% now. Can we get that 107? Correct code. Good cutscene this, I love this one. There's the squad. Okay. 
data not recognized. Protected system. Blocking. Ten. Uh oh. They're blocking the controls. Nine. Eight. No problem, Oye. Uh, hey. Six. Amigos, Segundo el Magnifico is going to show you who is the best. Two. Secondo el Magnifico. <gasps> system block. What? Magnifico, more like Secundo El Major Screw Up, King of the Cretans, Pope of Silencio, the Penis, my little piglet. Look, opening system data. <laughs> Hello, General Secundo. At your I love that he's changed it to a woman's voice. Amiga, who would like to broadcast a little report? Set up an alignment on two one point three, por favor, mia bella. Yes, sir, General. General Secundo. <laughs> Here we go. It's all come down to this. All of our photos are going to be broadcast to the whole of Hillis. Ugly head on your planet. With help from those traitors from the Iris network, our enemy, the Doms, have broken through our protective borders and infiltrated your city. Enough is enough. Amigos! Senores, senoras, y of course, senoritas. Keep open your eyes, earthy tutti quanti. I no going to be wasting your time with big speeches. I just wanting to show you the world. Even the Hillian army are listening. Those alpha section are traitors, banditos, impostors, rascals, wooden nickels. Look at these photos that we have taken. The Alpha Sections are the accomplices of the Dom's forces. The Alpha Sections are the ones who've been oh, kidnapping good one. the aliens and taking them to the Dom's. Once the victims arrive on the moon, they're drained of all their energy and die. Since the beginning, we've been manipulated and deceived. Stop listening to the lies that the Alpha Sections are telling you. These photos definitely look worse on PC, which is strange. I think they might be saved in higher quality on console. I hope you see our animal pictures as well, yeah. A <laughs> hundred photos of animals. So there we go, we finally exposed the conspiracy. Everyone believes us. They're rising up. The kids are still on the Dom's base. We have to go back for them. For the time being, we'd better evacuate the sector. Nice strategy, soldier, but a bit late. Goodbye. Auto destruction procedure engaged. Goodbye. Well, that ended quickly. Can't save it during a destruction procedure. So, we jump on this monorail, and when we get off the monorail, I look vertically. Here. I'm gonna try it here. I'm gonna run out of time. Have I done it right? I don't think so. That might be it. I think I, I think we've we've done it wrong somewhere. Oh, there we go. We've got an email. Oh. <laughs> Trustworthy colleagues from the Iris Network. The Hillian people have joined forces to drive the Alpha Sections out of Hillis. Once again, the honorable journalistic profession was able to show that it had a preponderant role in the history. Thank you to um, Board Geek YT for subscribing for 29 months on a 29 month streak. This is great, this email. This is the Hillian word who have been spreading the propaganda all the way through the game. And they're now saying, ah, yes, our trustworthy colleagues from the Iris Network have exposed the truth. Because, you know, the game's up now. They're having to having to go with it. Um, oh, email. Oh, is that it? But it's just a little bit glitched. Oh, that's interesting. I think that might be it, but it's just not working properly. Ha. Huh. There's something there. Now, let me show you what it's supposed to be. Um, so normally, you see here, 
this is what happens. Now, this is in French and it's a screenshot, so it's not going to translate. But if you do these um, looking up and down, uh, that says brother, I think. Uh, although, isn't it frere? It should be brother. But it's basically an email from... Um, uh, maybe that's a sort of a, a, a term of endearment for brother. But the idea is that one of the developers for this game had it so that if you... on Three or four occasions, if you look, move your camera in a certain way, it's like those are the criteria in the background. Um, can you change the language to French, as I assume the mail is only in French? Maybe. That's a good idea. I'll try that in a minute. Um, but this is the email that you get, and it says something like... Uh, I mean, my French is terrible, but I did want to see a translation written on Reddit for this. I think it says something like, uh, hello, brother. I don't know if that means, like, how are you or something. And then it says something along the lines of... Uh, you're running out of time. The satellite is about to explode. Like it's not. This is not the time to be reading emails. And then it says, "Love to Sophie." Smiley face. That could be it. And it's a good shout, uh, Lord Brotovich. We might be able to change. Oh, I don't think we can actually change to um, French. I saved pretty recently, so I might. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, for the, for, just for the full, complete experience, I'm going to try to change the language, because that is a very good shout. Um, I might have to restart the whole app, actually. Someone get Rhythian back in here. <laughs> Hopefully that cutscene's skippable. Okay. Beyond good and evil. Chargement. Vous contrôlez l'émetteur? C'est incroyable. Je fais au plus vite. Tenez bon. C'est incroyable. Give me the code. Oh, tab pour, pour lire. Faites vite. Si la population se soulève, les sections alpha. D4, P9. Uh, D4, P9. Please be skippable. Le code. Oh, oui, oui. Oh, it's not. I'm going to have to watch this all again. Apologies, everyone. I might have to watch it a third time if I want to continue the game in English. Okay. Nah, it's not skippable. We're gonna have to watch this twice more. I mean, it's a good cutscene, but I don't want to have to sit and watch it this many times. But I couldn't save it after the cutscene. I'm afraid. Oh my God! Here he comes, Secundo Le Magnifique. System bloqué. System bloqué. Ah, bravo, El Unico. Le roi des saligots, eh? L'empereur des crétins. Le peuple des abrutis. Hey, he's got a good voice, hasn't he? Un architecte de porc qui me casse les oreilles. Petit porco. Ouverture de session en cours. Bonjour, Général Secundo. À votre service. Ciao, Bella. J'ai un ami qui souhaite diffuser... This is, sir. Uh... It's great. Page sounds angry in French. Well, I mean, he is angry in this scene anyway, but uh, yeah. Can we do it in Italian next? Says Chip Thompson's thumbs. Oh my god. General Keck sounds. Intense. God, who did they get to voice that? Oh, 
Il ne veut pas vous dire des palabras, des mensonges et des choses à rallonge. Il veut juste vous montrer la vérité. Eh? La section alpha sont des bandous, des bandidos, des imposteurs, des rascals, des serpentassonnettes. Serpentassonnettes. Les sections alpha sont wow. les complices des forces d'Oz. Ce sont les sections alpha qui enlèvent les citoyens d'Ilis et les livres... The sexual de... alpha. That's what I am, right? sur la lune... Les victimes sont vidées de leur énergie et meurent. Now, uh, if when we uh, get this email through, on a été trompé et if it has no text, you can all blame Lord Brotovich specifically. N'écoutons plus les mensonges des sections That we've had to sit and listen to this in French and then listen again in English. It will all be Nicholas's fault. Les <laughs> Billy's not booing. <gasps> Look at Billy on the right. Billy Ray Walrus is an, a, a Dom's sympathizer. Et voilà. Gazon and Peters. Les enfants sont encore dans la base Dom's. Il faut retourner là-bas. Yeah, les enfants are in la base Dom's. You're right. The riot sounds more genuine in French. Well, they're good at um Oh, gee, it does it again. I don't, something about this build of the game. <laughs> that cutscene just ends instantly. Um, yeah, the French like a good riot. They like a good strike, don't they? Right. Let's do this properly. And let's see if we get a French email through. Looking up and down in here. I don't know where exactly it was that I had to do it. From Hillian words. I got another one. Email. We did it! Hell yes! Hello, brother. How's it going? You don't have time to read your emails. The satellite is gonna explode and stuff. Much love to Sophie. Smiley face. 107%. That is a. Uh, a, an achievement for me. That's the the full platinum plus trophy. Um, good old Lord Brotovich for, for sorting that out. Um, amazing. Well, we've got it. We've done the email. Jade looks really pleased. Um, PC version of this game does have a strange glitch sometimes with the <laughs> Jade's model on, on here. Oh, look at them. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. And we can all thank Lord Brotovich. You're right, we can. So, now, one more time, I'm afraid we are, because I'm not finishing this game in French. Uh, God, I don't even know how to, how to quit. Hang on. Uh, menu. Oui. <laughs> okay, quitter. I'm no quitter. Well, thanks for bearing with me, anyone. That is a little, a little achievement for me. I'm so pleased about that. Getting a just a stupid, pointless little email in a language I can't fully speak. I can barely speak. Um, but that's it. I did it. So I appreciate you indulging me and listening to this cutscene multiple times. You have control of the long-range transmitter? If we're lucky, maybe we'll be able to skip it in the English version. Probably not. I don't think why, I don't see why that would affect it, but you never know. Quickly. D4P9. I wonder if I could uh, put that code in before sending the email. Melody. Okay. Transmitter alignment. No. Unskippable. Well, there we go. Um, okay, enter data. 
It's up to you now, Jade. Okay. So, coming up next week from me. By the way, the game's not over yet. We've still got like a boss fight to do, but I'm just going to talk over the top of this because we've already seen it twice. So now seems a good time to to let you know what's happening next week. Um, coming next week from me is a Christmas watch along live stream. So on Monday, the whatever it is of December, we will be watching some Christmas content. Um, we have run out of 20th century sort of, you know, 1970s, 1980s Christmas uh, children on adventures uh, TV serials. There are still plenty of children on magical adventures TV serials from the 70s and 80s, but no Christmas related ones. And there's still plenty of Christmas content from the 70s and 80s TV, but not children's adventures. So, um, we will be moving on to still Christmassy stuff, because I did a poll a while ago saying, what do you guys want to see? Um... And uh, people were leaning more towards, I'd rather it was Christmassy than, you know, another series of, uh, you know, Five Children and It, for example, is a, is a good one to watch in terms of just that kind of quaint kids TV, but it's not Christmas related. So people were leaning more towards Christmas stuff. Um, so I've got a few like kind of short form, it's probably like three things we can watch all in one stream, which I'm looking forward to. Um, they won't be probably quite as silly uh, as sometimes the Box of Delights and Children of Green Noah was, but there'll still be some some things we can be entertained by. I think. Um, I don't know. I'm still I'm still a little bit undecided. We might end up watching something else, but rest assured there will be some fun watch along content happening next week on Monday, usual time, 5 p.m. I'll be streaming from home in a great big Christmas jumper, um, having a lovely time. So, um, yes, a nosy bonk Christmas special. Um, so, should be good. Um, now keep an eye on Billy Ray Walrus on the right here, as everyone else starts to chant and cheer and start a revolution. Billy's not fussed. Look at him up there. Didn't care. He's disappointed that his his overlords have. Uh, in fact, even May from the from Iris Networks not bothered at all. She's standing there watching. The kids are still now for the abrupt end to the cutscene. For the time being, we'd better evacuate the sector. Nice strategy, soldier, but a bit late. Goodbye. Auto destruction procedure engaged. Engage. I'm not going to hang around. I'm going to enjoy the moment now of this uh, this intense thing. I'm not going to try and activate the email again. So technically, we'll be ending without the email. But I've got video footage of me doing it, and that's enough for me. Shit, boys. Come on. Page first. Oh! Got an email. It's from the Hillian Word. Double H loves being in the Beluga and in the hovercraft races. Trustworthy colleagues from the Iris Network. So, rodents, tangled in my web. Tangled in my web.
So it's not really clear, actually, whether... If General Keck really is... Like, what... What is what are the alpha sections really like? Have they always been? Were they are they a, a an intergalactic or interstellar military force that wasn't Hillis related specifically, but they've sort of arrived on Hillis after the Doms started attacking and saying, "Hey, we'll don't worry, we'll handle this." And were they originally like a decent, you know, a, an upstanding faction that was later? Uh, taken control of by the Doms. Like, there's still quite a lot to learn about even just the Alpha sections. I mean, the thing you really want to learn about is Jade and the Doms and the Shawnee thing, and there's a lot a lot there to still learn in the prequel or sequel, or both, if they ever make a sequel. Um, but I'm also, I'm intrigued as, how, as to how the what the Alpha sections really are and what the history is of that organisation. Oh, God. I'm trying. I'm trying to lock on. You'll die with us, it says at the bottom. We'll have to launch the hovercraft if we want to turn off the tractor beam. Drop some mines on their way down. Oh my god, this torpedo's coming in. Okay, let's get this torpedo. Yes! Out you get. save a separate file and uh, in my own time do a 106% finish 107% whatever we're calling it Got him. That's it. Oh, another one. Right, okay. Turn off the tractor beam. Here we go. Bit of lore now. What were you hoping for, huh? Everyone you ever loved is already dead. Your mother and father, the pig, and all those little brats. Mm. Not true anymore. We sucked them dry of all their fluids so that we could live longer. <coughs> He's looking for you. He's been on your trail for centuries. Your days are numbered. May the angels of darkness rise to glory. Hmm. He's looking for you. He's been on your trail for centuries. The angels of darkness. I don't know if that's like an alpha section cult that worships the doms. Maybe we don't. There's no other reference to the angels of darkness in this game. I don't know what he's talking about there. It's interesting. There's the blue flying around. We have to get back to the base. All the prisoners are still in there. Pretty cool death, bra. Yeah, Tomb Raider, Angel of Darkness. Is there someone else still alive? No, there's no one left. Can I speak to... Have they got anything to say? I look at the entrance earlier on the elevator. It goes right to the heart of the Great Crypt. I'm ready, Jade. Will you be able to make it? I'm with you all the way, Jade. You're not having a PA1. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to eat one of those. Oh my god. <laughs> Paige just took a, an electric bolt. It'll be fine. So, 
Let's hook up with the Beluga. So we just need to land, and then all three of us can use the lift to get down into the uh, the crypt. Oops, no, I'm not trying to not trying to dump on solid ground. Don't worry. Uh oh. Now I'm in trouble. But I love this game so much. Again, I know it's all relative. Nowadays you get far greater and more exciting experiences than this in, in gaming. But for 2003, there's so much to this. And it, it's so cinematic and... You know, you get all these, like, scripted moments. Yes! Yeehaw! So now... We've we've roused the Hillian people, and they've come to support. So now the Hillians are here. They're going to distract them, so I can go and land. I will. Happy birthday, plushy labs. Oh, I'm sorry that you're missing the end. Apologies for that. I've been messing around receiving emails, but uh, have a great birthday. Enjoy the rest of the day. And um, you can check the VOD out on the VOD's channel. It's like the end of Rise of Skywalker, but not absolutely rubbish and unearned. And impractical as well. How did they get that many ships from across the entire galaxy all to come at the same time? Um, whereas, you know, I can kind of believe that the Iris Network have, you know, had allies that are, are ready to go at all times. And they've finally, you know, had the enough support from the civilians to, to get going. You know, make, and, you know, it was a short hop from the surface to the moon. Here we go. This is it, everybody. The final boss fight. And look what this is. We've seen this before. You have finally come back to me. You have served your master well, Johnny. You alone have brought the Hillians to me. They have followed you blindly. Miss Jade. I love Double H. Look, this even grabs the uh, the Alpha Section ships. <gasps> what? Yes, Double H. Say what? What does that all mean? Okay, here we go. You can just do a superpower attack to defeat these guys, but, you know, why would I want to do that when I can have a dramatic fight? Page is okay. <gasps> oh! For all these little pages now have been summoned to try and, you know, make me not want to fight them. But we can use Double H to 
do this. And actually, look, they're just Dom sarcophagi. When you destroy them, it's a trick. Yeet. You can actually, uh, as soon as you've cleared even one crystal, what you're actually aiming for is the Dom's Priest, but, you know, I'm enjoying just padding this out slightly. Okay, but then, yeah, this is what you want to do. No! Double H! Now you have to hit it when it comes for you, otherwise if you don't if you don't do it, it knocks you down. So it's like a sequence. Dodge when it comes above you. you have to dodge out of the way and it comes down. It's not a bad boss fight, this. Um, if they'd had to do multiple uh, or many more boss fights, I think they might have run out of ideas, but uh, I love this. I have to abandon the fight, Miss Jade. Mind games. Just trying to trick her. Oh god, the sound effect. Oh no, I don't want to join you. What's that noise? Oh no, and then it gets tricky. your controls are reversed. It goes all slow-mo. Which makes it very tricky when you have to hit this guy in the right order. This is the last thing we have to do, but you have to point the right way, and if you point left, he gets you. If you point the wrong way, he'll swing in and hit you immediately. So you have to, and the more you hit him, the more you gain control of your spirit, it gets less blurry. Priest is dead. Shawnee, Jade, or Shawnee really, has some kind of power that's waking up inside her. That she's able to tap into now. Using the same power she used to bring Je uh, to bring Paige back, she can resurrect all of these Hillians. The 
music is lovely. And that is it. Pretty much. We do have a post credit scene though. And I think I need to let the credits run. I'm not sure. Uh, but there you go. That is a full playthrough with every little secret found of Beyond Good and Evil. What a lovely game. Wonderful music by Christoph Heral. Amazing game design and direction by uh, Michel Ancel. Um, and uh, that essentially, other than a little final sting that we're about to get, but even without that, that is basically everything you learn in this game about Jade and, and who she is and what's going on. And so, as you can see, or as you might now appreciate, very, very frustrating and sad for big fans of this game to have gone so long without more answers, you know? Um, and uh, there was definitely meant to be a sequel to this game. They were working on a sequel. Very clearly, it's, it's pretty much confirmed that plans were being made at one point for a sequel. We've seen little bits of like leaks and footage and concept art and stuff for what was going to be the sequel to this game. Um, the sequel is now not happening. Um, certainly at present, there aren't uh, official plans for a sequel, but of course, Beyond Good and Evil 2 is in production and is a prequel. So, takes place, from what we know, before... Uh, well, when they first announced the game, it was meant to take place some years or decades before the birth of Jade. And then later, it sounded like it, it might be happening around the time that Jade was born and Jade might be in it but as a baby and as like a secondary character um, and now as we've seen things have been pivoted throughout production it's been many years of production and uh, as we've seen in the second teaser trailer CG teaser trailer they released Jade is in the game uh, or she's a she's alive and she's a, a grown woman or kind of a uh, maybe a, a teenager or some kind of uh, you know she's is she even a is she a normal human being though like she's clearly some some sort of dom's power in human form so whether she ages properly i don't know but she basically she looks kind of like she does in this game maybe a bit younger uh page is in there too and people that we believe to be jade's parents also um so page and um the people who we assume are jade's parents are part of a pirate crew um space pirates um, interestingly, there is a member of that pirate crew called Shani, S-H-A-N-I, not Shawnee, Shani, which has got to be intentional, right? Dunno, weird, interesting. Um, but yeah, the game, uh, is still in development, they're still hiring people, um, and, uh, clearly, I think part of the reason they've gone out of their way to not just make a remastered version of yeah. Beyond Good and Evil 1, because of your streams of this game, I will certainly be getting the remaster when it comes this. This game is incredible. It really is. Thank you for the bit, Stephen. Uh, do stick around for those who want to see the post credit scene. It's only very short, but it's coming. It's on its way. I'm just filling here with a bit of information about the, the prequel. But uh, yeah, um, I think part of the reason that they have done the remaster... Yeah, maybe to celebrate the game's anniversary, but I don't think that alone was enough to warrant them remastering the entire game and seemingly adding in a bit of extra content. There's going to be like a, a speedrun timer in there. There are these additional trophies and collectibles. Um, uh, what else? I'm sure they, they mentioned at least one more thing that's kind of additional content. Um, you know, they've, uh, they've clearly put some effort into this. It's more than just a, a cheap here's an easy remaster, or hey, let's just celebrate the anniversary, I suppose, and, and be done with it. I think the reason they've done the remaster 
is because of Beyond Good and Evil 2, and they want people to be able to go back and play the original before they play the prequel. Um, so uh, here we go. I think I think we're getting there now. Here are some photos that Jade has taken. I love this one. Look. Double H, and he's given his helmet to one of the kids, and there's um, some members of uh, there's May and uh, what's he called? Uni, Rooney, Doody, uh, Numi, uh, from Iris. There's Double H playing with them, and there's Woof. It's nice. That's a great one there of Paige and Double H. Um, and only just recently, a little bit of um, dialogue, unfortunately for the French version, not the English version, um, between Double H and Page from the cancelled sequel uh, was sort of leaked or released as part of a, a visual artist's portfolio. So if you do a bit of Googling, you'll be able to find that. It's uh, it's just Jade and uh, it's just Page and Double H in a bar, drunk, talking to each other in sort of next gen graphics. Next gen for the time, of course, when this was being uh, planned. But there we go, that's the end of the credits. So this is the final sting we get. Look at the destroyed lighthouse. Oh God. The end. That was a little Dom's blob. It's what Double H had on his neck, actually, when he'd been in that um, that Spirit Eater cage um, when we rescued him, and he needed the, the last dose of serum that the uh, the Iris Network had. So Paige is in trouble, and uh, in the sequel, I'm sure that would have been addressed in some way, shape, or form, but. Uh, so I'm glad that we are getting another game, albeit a, a, a prequel. Um, but because it's a prequel, we're not going to get an answer to that final sting for a little while yet. So uh, we've got, we've still got a very long time to wait if we're going to find out at all uh, to see what happens to Paige. Um, but at least in the prequel, they will surely be revealing at least some of the origins of Jade and the Doms and. Uh, where Paige comes into it and how he adopted Jade and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, there we go. We won't watch the whole thing of this, but uh, if you do get a copy of the game yourself, here is a... Ooh, that's nice. In fact, yeah, that's something... Oh, that's the creature that wasn't in the game. Uh, yeah, this is something else they have added to the remaster. They've said that there is an extended kind of making of mode, so it will have, you know, bits of... I'm sure it'll have this kind of stuff, all this concept art, but... Um, potentially also uh, some chat with the developers maybe and that kind of thing so I'm very very excited um, but that is everything to be experienced in Beyond Good and Evil 1 even the bonus email which we've seen both in its original French form and we've seen what happens if you do that in English you get just a blank email that appears in your uh, if, in your inbox, which is interesting. That's not what I expected. Um, so that's it. That is everything. Thank you for bearing with me through various little tangents and things I've done there. Watching the same cutscene three times in a row and going off and doing silly things and taking a while on the final boss just to just to soak it all in. Uh, we're done. You've indulged me and I've enjoyed it and I hope you've enjoyed it too. I've had some nice comments actually over the past few weeks playing this. People saying that they've been enjoying watching this because they missed it the first time I streamed it and they never got to play the game originally when they uh, when they first uh, when, when the game first came out so um, uh, yeah so it's all good uh, it's exciting and I'm glad those of you who have enjoyed it have enjoyed it um, Thank you, Stephen, for those bits again. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So catch me next week on Monday for my Christmas watch along, my annual thing. It will be festive, I'm sure. It will be quaint. It will be probably old fashioned. It's kind of a triangle. Maybe it, one of those three things won't be true. Um, it'll be, you know, it'll be kids TV, Christmas, and from about three or four decades ago, 
except I don't think, as I say, anything that ticks all three of those boxes still exists. So it might be a more recent Christmas children's thing, it might be a, an old children's thing that's not Christmassy, it might be an old Christmassy thing that's not specifically for kids, I don't know. Uh, just yet. I've still not decided, but I've got ideas, so um, there will be something to watch with me. 5pm next Monday. Bring your Christmas jumpers and your roasted chestnuts and mince pies um, and we'll all have a lovely time. Thank you once again to everyone who sent stuff to the Tat Appeal as well. Uh, this is the first stream I've done since um, since uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Since we recorded that and it's lovely and that will be out soon on the channel. And that's about it. Um, TP, have you seen that Taking Pictures TV are showing a series of classic BBC ghost stories for Christmas starting tonight, mostly the ones from the 1970s? I think I had heard about this, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, good stuff. Um, yeah, thanks for letting me know, but I think, it, yeah, I think I'd, I'd heard about that, but it might be, might be worth, uh, might be worth a watch. So, brilliant. I'm reading a good book at the moment called Ghostland, which I've seen in the, in the bookshops for a long time. It's not actually about ghosts as such. It's about a guy who um, explores um, kind of popular culture, cult TV of, you know, like, of, of ghostly stuff, but also stuff that is more, like, family-friendly and, like, kid-based, kid, kid -based, uh, but has that kind of, like, eerie edge to it. Stuff like Children of Green Noah, which admittedly did have ghosts in it, or, you know, even, I don't know if Box of Delights is in there, but it's that kind of thing. Like, Bagpuss is in there, apparently, which... You know, I'm not that familiar with Bagpuss. I've seen a few clips, but you know, it kind of has a bit of a, you know, a, a, a strange feel about it. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's a guy kind of wandering around the UK, going to various places, um, and and learning about like, um, kind of hauntology and uh, weird Britain and uh, you know that kind of thing. Mo mostly from a pop culture perspective. You know, he looks at like where the Wicker Man was filmed and stuff like that. But also I think he, he delves into some actual kind of ghost stories and myths and legends and stuff. But it's a good book. I'm really enjoying it. And if you're into that kind of thing, 1970s ghost ghost stories on TV, that 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 vibe, then uh, then maybe have a look at it. Ghostland, it's called, by uh, P P Purnell or Parnell, I think his surname is. You'll find it, I'm sure. Um, there we go. A little final tangent for me on my outro, as I always do. But that is the end. And uh, thanks for sticking with me on this overtime stream as well. 40 minutes over. Wonderful. Um, right, that's it. Thank you, mods. And thank you, everyone. And I will see you all on Monday. Merry Christmas, one and all. <laughs>